Hey everybody, um, my name is Chef. I am your instructor for Life Drawing and Gesture. What I would like, what I'm assuming most of you guys have purchased is newsprint. What I'm hoping is that you purchased uh, smooth newsprint. See, so it says smooth surface. That's what we want. And the second thing we want is a proper charcoal pencil. So let me set this up right here. I'm pointing my camera towards the trash and I'm putting a paper towel on here so that you can see. Now you need a knife. Um, they have these kinds of knives at Home Depot but I prefer like these really cheapy guys. They're like uh, I don't know five dollars on Amazon but the important thing is that they click. See you can extend the blade and bring it back in let me see if I can focus. Ooh. Ah, sorry. Okay, so that's what the blade looks like. You can extend the blade and you can pull it back in. Man, I'm really sorry about this uh, this situation. Let me try and focus here and turn off the autofocus. Hopefully that will do the trick. All right. So anyway, I bought a bunch of different pencils at um, the local art store. The one that you guys should really be using, um, they're all different brands, but I wanted to try some out. The one that you should use is the Primo. The Primo is the bomb. This is the best pencil, um, I think, right now. And you want 3B. I don't know if you can see that. It says, it says 3B right here. Okay? Um, the other ones I got, just because I wanted to try them out, this is uh, Primo Grande. It's kind of got the uh, hexagonal shape that normal pencils do. I also picked up, oh, what is this? Another Primo 3B, because I always buy two of everything whenever I go to the art store, because... What happens if you are working on a job late at night and you run out of supplies, you know, or your pencil breaks or it's all cracked? You don't have time to run to the art store after it closes. So you might as well buy extra because you're going to use it again, right? So I picked up a sepia, Conte, just for fun. You don't have to buy this. And I also picked up a Conte uh, Sanguine, which is, ugh, let me see. I'm still getting used to this camera setup. Let me see if I can focus. There. Sanguine. Conte. Conte's a good brand. General's a good brand. And I thought I would try this uh, Prismacolor. I like Prismacolor colored pencils, but this charcoal is the first time I've used this. Um, so we'll give this a shot. But right now I'm going to sharpen my Primo pencil. Ooh, Primo. And show you guys how to do it. Now... The thing, oi, God. Uh, stay here, stay here. Stay there. Um, gosh, okay, hopefully that stays um, correct. So the thing is, you want to hold, I'm right handed, so I want to hold the knife in my right hand. And with the left hand, I hold the pencil, okay? Um, I'm going to hold it in such a way that I take my thumb and brace it against the blade. And then with the other hand, I'm going to pull the pencil against the blade. I'm not doing this. I'm doing this. Okay? So, holding the pencil, um, not quite perfectly parallel, but just a slight angle, I'm going to pull it against the blade. Now, your, pencil, your, your knife should be sharp enough to do this. And as I'm doing it, I'm rotating the pencil in my hand. Because what we want is we want to expose about half an inch of charcoal. See how I'm, I'm getting more of the, uh, more of the, um, what do you call it? The charcoal exposed. Can you see that? That's what we want. We want 
as much as we can of that. But we want to keep the wood kind of nice and thin so that we can um, keep the, um, it, it allows, it allows some uh, grip to the charcoal so that, um, not, you know, to the, to the shaft of the charcoal itself inside the wood so that it doesn't break right away. There might be some, you know, sediment uh, of the glue that's in there. But notice, oh gosh, I was trying to do this so that you could see it against my black shirt. Let me try moving the camera and focusing here. Oh, apologies, this is still new to me. Teaching, not in real life, but teaching virtually. So let's see if that stays focused. Oh, come on. All right. Okay, so I'm doing this very lightly. All right, maybe you can see the shape of the pencil. See, you want it to be sharp. You want it to be not quite a weapon, but this is your weapon of choice. You are an artist, right? You wouldn't expect a surgeon to go into surgery with dull knives. So you shouldn't be drawing with a pencil with a nub. And the way you grip the pencil is important. Don't hold it like this, like you are writing text. Hold it like this, you know? Because when you hold it like this, you can glide on your fingernails and you won't smear the way you would smear holding it this way. This part of your hand would get all black and you'd be wiping it across your, your drawing. But if you're holding it like this, see? Then you can make nice lines. I'm gonna reset the camera and then draw on that newsprint so you can see what that looks like. All right, thanks, hold on. All right, let's take a look now. All right, um, I have a drawing board that I um, went to Home Depot to get. It's just cheap. Um, I had them cut a two by four um, piece of masonite, cut it down to this size. Um, the size of your pad is 18 by 24, but I like having something where I can hold on the sides a little bit. And then you just lift it up, place it, on your lap. Now, we are, we just sharpened the pencil, right? We need to make sure that the lines that we make are good lines. So I'm going to the back of my pad. Um, I need some clips. Hold on. I'm back with the clips that I need. Got a box of these clips at uh, Office Max or Staples or one of those places. Anyway, um, I'm gonna put the clips on my drawing board. So they're just like this. And just hold them down. If you don't do this, your drawing board, your paper will separate from this adhesive. Because remember, this is like really cheap, cheap paper. It's not meant for you to do anything great. The reason you are working on newsprint, besides it being cheap, is that you're a beginner, right? This is about mileage. This is not about um, showing off uh, great drawings, although that can occur. Um, this is just about not spending a lot of money on materials. Okay, so if you can see, there's like about half an inch, half an inch of lead or charcoal exposed. So I'm just going to make marks. Now I'm going to the very back of my pad because I want to um, keep my good drawings up in the front, but I mean, the good drawings will be 
in here and this is basically my um, scratch area. I've sharpened my pencil so that you can see that how much uh, charcoal is exposed and here I'm gonna just make marks notice how I'm holding the pencil and I'm just making marks on this back page to make sure that I, I got a consistent um, mark so I can make a nice thick line and then if I need to make thin lines I change the way I hold my pencil this will be your fat line and this will be your thin line okay so that's basically uh, what we want so just by just changing the direction of which you stroke your pencil you can get thin or you can get fat and that's your control right there okay so when you're drawing uh, you want to hold the pencil like this not like this because it'll break if you hold it like this you can just glide on your fingernails and you're only gonna have like a small amount of uh, charcoal if you're holding it like this you're gonna get dirty all up in here alright so we want to make sure that you know we've got some control okay we can make marks all different kinds and uh, when, kind, when the time comes I'll probably just pull up your uh, your drawings on my cell phone and just do a quick sketch like this so that you guys can see um, my critique of your work alright okay I think that works alright peace out